I'm going to ask you, uh, first and foremost, I personally couldn't go on a submarine because it'd be terrifying. Uh, it scares me. And I was just wondering if, uh, if you could ever do it as a profession. Is that something that you, or even just spend much time on a submarine in real life, or would that terrify you too? I couldn't. However, Michael Smiley... <laughs> I couldn't either. To be fair, my dad was a submariner, but the idea of being stuck in a tube under the water would just... No, I don't really want to do that at all. I'd be very conscious of that... Funny, I can go up in a plane, it doesn't bother me that much. But the idea of being under the water, um, no, in a tube for months on end. My dad did it for seven years. He was a submariner in the 40s, so he wouldn't have been in a fancy boat either, you know. But um, And he said the smell of it was just terrible. Diesel engines, you know, men's, you know, body odour. And, you know, they kept all the poo in a big tank and then they blew it out the back of the thing. But then... They let the air in as well, which so they would, they, no, it just would be. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It just would be. You shared a bunk with three other men, but not at the same time. Do you know what I mean? So you, when you get out of your bunk, somebody got into your bunk. Somebody was getting into your <laughs> night sweat, you know? You know, it's like a Tom Waits song. We, you sleep in rooms and you take on the dreams of the ones who have slept there. Oh, it'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Especially if the guy was like, it was fat and hairy, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> that's a proper smell, isn't it? Like, I, I was in a lift the other day, right? And the, a rugby player got out got out of the lift as I went in. And it just it just stank of rugby player. It just stank of a bloke just who lives on his own and hasn't, you know, chips off his socks with a toffee hammer. You know, it was just wrong on so many levels. So that's what I imagine a submarine would be like. I hope I've answered your question. Oh, perfectly. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you both, uh, as actors, have this miraculous ability to go from being quite charming, quite affable, to being maniacal and quite vacant <laughs> and unbearable. Un <laughs> <laughs> just that. Just that. Did that? <laughs> that was good. And quite unhinged. I was just wondering, is that something that takes practice, or is that just something that's come sort of naturally <laughs> to both of you? I think you've either got it or you haven't. It's one of those things. You've either yeah. got that thing where you can do that. Or thing. you don't. Yeah. I never noticed it until somebody pointed it out. <laughs> <laughs> so who do you think is more of a... Who do you think, of the two of you, who do you think is better at becoming a maniac like that? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I don't think that's true at all. No, I don't. We don't know. We don't know. And I just want to... Because, Ben, with, what with, uh, with this and, and Starred Up, I mean, you've, there's been a kind of inclination to, to make sort of British movies, I suppose. I'm just wondering if uh, what it is about the British film industry that appeals to you and if you plan on making more movies over here as well. Well, I do plan on... I do hope to, rather, make uh, more films here. Uh, what appeals to me about it? Well, it just depends on the, the you know, the, the story. I mean, uh, and the, the company that it's with. You want to ride on a good horse, a good solid horse, when you're a jockey. And, um, <laughs> when you're a jockey. <laughs> and, solid uh, horses. High over the jumps, end of the water, and not the other side. <laughs> Um, you know, I mean, some of my favourite, I mean, the British film industry, like, you know, it's had its good, it's, it's, you know, it's had good times, bad times, in between times, whatever. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's a great privilege to get to work over here. You'd be great in a, in a, in a uh, sorry, in a Ben Wheatley movie. You should put a, a word in, Michael, yeah. with Ben. Dear Ben. Would you? Yeah, do you want me to? Well, why not? Okay. I, 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 ben. Ben, 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 Ben. Yeah. And just finally, very quickly, Free Fire is 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 his next movie. Is that something that you're uh, you're going to be in? Is that is yes? That yeah, a minute. Um, yeah, it's a great. Uh, the script's amazing, and uh, it's sort of set in the seventies. So I'm looking forward to dan 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 <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't me, motherfucker. <laughs> well, I can't wait. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's much appreciated. You're welcome. Thanks very much. Thank, thank you. you very, very Cheers. much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.